Day by Day, presented by The Sioux Shop. When you shop at The Sioux Shop and SiouxShop.com, your dollars are invested into UND Athletics, helping to develop athletes through scholarships and support programs. Dress in comfort and style with custom UND football, hockey, and basketball apparel. Shop inside the Sioux Shop or the all-new SiouxShop.com and follow us on social media for product updates and special offers. ISAB became more of a leader, you know, talking to everybody on the team, just getting to know everybody kind of makes it easy to be a leader on the football team. And uh, yeah, I think I've grown a lot in there. I like to be vocal, talk to my guys. You know, everybody hates waking up early and coming out here, but once we start going, you get in the locker room and you see all the guys, there's a hundred dudes in here doing it with you. And you're like, if they're doing it, I'm doing it. Let's go out there, let's make the best of it and get better. So that's kind of the mindset I have every single day. As soon as I see those guys' face, I'm like, Let's get after it. It's fun. It's a great time. Like you look at the defense on the sideline, we're turned up, we're lit, we're ready to go. Like it's a game, so I'm gonna miss that. The best you're gonna feel is probably the first day going into it, and then you got to work really hard at making sure you're making your treatments and things like that. Um, because yeah, I mean it is. A, it's a physical grind. It's a mental grind. Just having the discipline to go out there. Um, you know, you're not always probably gonna feel like doing <laughs> some of the stuff but you gotta get out there and do it. You know, I tell them every day, this stuff's not gonna last forever, fall camp doesn't last forever, so now's your chance to really show them what you got, keep improving, getting better throughout the year, and maybe he's gonna put you out there. These freshmen now get four games, I didn't get that, so you might get thrown out there in a game and make a play, who knows? We gotta do enough where, hey, we're getting enough volume where, where guys are gonna be ready to go here uh, on September 3rd when we kick it off. And yeah, these get to be the dog days, but, uh, you know, you just keep working for that, that goal to, to get out there and cross the white line for real, you know, on game day. So try to keep that in, in mind here as you go through all this process of it. During fall camp, a lot of carbs. Uh, they tell us to eat a lot of carbs, get our protein in, and drink a lot of water. Uh, whatever you think you need to drink for water, you got to drink more. I think the biggest thing with me when I got here, I was a little undersized, and I think that led to injury for me when I was younger. You know, having to fight in there with those big guys. You know, I didn't have as much strength, but uh, I think lifting a little more, treating that a little more seriously, and really getting after it would have helped me in the long run. Tell you what, when I'm gone, I'll tell Coach, you could wear number zero. I mean, he be fresh in that. You'd be fresh in number zero. You know, we do a lot in there, taking double teams. We might, we might not get the stats, the tackles, and things like that, but I know the guys behind us are really proud of us and they really love what we do. So when we do a good job and our linebackers are having a good game, you know the D-line's doing well. So you might not notice that in the in the game, in the film or whatever, but we do in the in our meeting time. The short side, so you can work into like a push, pull, or power rush on the center, yep. but then you gotta get back out of it. You know, he does, he does a great job of bringing energy every day um, and works really hard and uh, practices really hard and, and he, he obviously knows like, I think the, the more you put into something, the more you're gonna get out of it and, and he's put a lot into the program so it means a lot to him. It's like, hey, how many more years you got left? And you kind of look at him, like, you know, where, where you at with the, with the whole process. To keep it honest, I didn't know if I was going to come back. Uh, I talked to some people before SESU, before that last game, some of the older guys like Jackson Turner, Hayden Galvin, guys like that, and I was like, do you guys 
recommend coming back for another year. And they looked at me and they said, without a doubt, getting one more year of football in, you're never going to get that chance again. So I kind of took that and I went with it. And I was like, I'm going to play one more year with these guys. He didn't quite get the chance to, to go out the way he wanted to, you know, last last season, you know, and getting dinged up and injured. I'd say uh, having those those knee injuries, those ankle injuries, uh, I was kind of disappointed that it happened to me and I wanted to play in all the games. But once that happened, I was like, I need to come back. I got more. I'm still hungry. Hey, we do all this to prepare for a football game, not only to prepare for a game, but to prepare to win the football game. All right, we're going to go down to Nebraska and kick their ass. All right, Hawks on three. One, two, three. Hawks. Four, five, six. Hey. 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 Hey.